And for more on our top story tonight, a stark warning from the United Nations on the global climate crisis. The World Meteorological Organization says that the next five years are set to be the hottest period ever recorded as temperatures are likely to pass the 1.5 degrees Celsius global warming threshold. Now, for insight, let's bring in Dr. Wilfran Mufuma Okia. He's the head of the Regional Climate Prediction Services Division of the World Meteorological Organization. Dr. Mufuma Okia, thank you for joining us. Now, about this time last year, the WMO reported a 50-50 chance of average global temperatures temporarily reaching 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels for at least one of the next five years. Now, that percentage has now risen to 66 percent, with a 98 percent likelihood that the next five years, they're going to be the warmest on record, a warning that we are in uncharted territory. We need to be prepared, are we? Yes, thank you very much for having me. We need to be prepared. Uh, first of all, just uh, to recap here, uh, the report issued by the World Meteorological Organization this morning is a warning call. But one thing to note is that this is a collective of effort from the best available scientists to we have at our disposal today. So it's a collection of countries from the UK to China to Germany. All the best center, uh, scientists have team up to try to come up with those forecasts. That's the first part. Now, what is the forecast telling us? Uh, again, you highlight it. First, um, we are entering an uncharted territory, but what, is, uh, what seems to be a distant future, it looks like in the next five years, between now and 2027, uh, 2027, we have a chance to exceed the 1.5 uh, degree uh, uh, centigrade, which was a target of the Paris Agreement. That's one. But tied up to this uh, finding, there was also a couple of other warning files finding. So one of them is that the next five decades might be the decade where we will observe a record-breaking uh, temperature. Uh, if just you recall, in 2027, that was the first ever um, recorded warmest temperature on the planet. What the report is saying, in the next five years, we will get where we might have something even worse than that. Uh, other important uh, implication of this report, if we look at the impact of the warming worldwide, of course, we will find a region where we have uh, less precipitation. Some example, we have North America, we have Eurasia, we have many parts of the world, but also a reg region where we will have some flood. So uh, and that's something we need to worry again. But again, the forecast we are providing will need to be refined at the country level with the help of the national med services. So everyone needs to be teaming up. So there is room for refinement, but it's still a bleak prediction, uh, Dr. Mufuma Okia. Uh, let me ask you about this El Nino event, which WMO has also said there is a high chance of between uh, the end of July as well as the end of September. There's a very, there's up to an 80% chance that we're going to see that. You've said that that's going to change the weather and climate patterns worldwide. An El Nino event, we last had one in 2018, 2019, but we've also had this exceptionally long La Nina event, which is El Nino's cooling opposite. So why hasn't that actually taken the punch out of what we might see with the rise in global temperatures? Yes, so first of all, you need to remember that El Nino is a naturally occurring phenomenon. So basically the consequence of El Nino, which is a warming in some part of the ocean in the, uh, in the Pacific, it has as a consequence to warm the planet. So naturally, when we have El Nino, the temperature goes up. And you pointed an excellent example here, 2016, 2016, when we had the last strongest El Nino, it was followed by the warmest temperature on Earth, right? Now, that naturally, with El Nino, we are expected to have uh, high temperature. Now, with global warming, which is trapping uh, greenhouse gas in the, in the atmosphere, the combination of El Nino and, and uh, global warming in the next five years will bring the temperature to a surge. That's why it's important. Now, to come back to the La Nina uh, event, La Nina has the uh, opposite effect of kind of slowing down the warming of the temperature. But here an example. Last year, we had, over the past three years, we had a very uh, three year in a row La Nina. But 
for those of you who live in some region, you recall you had uh, extreme heat in many parts, China, for example, in Europe. So imagine in a situation where we would have a, an increase of temperature caused by El Nino. So we are expecting to have more such events, such, such a dramatic situation worldwide. Dr. Mufuma Okia, thank you for your perspectives on this report by WMO. Dr. Wilfred Mufuma Okia, the head of the Regional Climate Prediction Services Division of the World Meteorological Organization.